In this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to set and save custom views within VSP. Now, we know that you can jump in between different views quickly using your standard views available, but let's say, for example, you've got a nice dynamic view of the aircraft in flight or in takeoff that you really enjoy, but you've moved away from it slightly. There's really no good way using the mouse to jump back to the way that that view was oriented precisely and repeatedly. But VSP has this nice feature to where if you hold shift and press F1, F2, F3, or F4, you can save that view. So in this case, I just pressed shift F1 and that view is now saved. Now, if I change the zoom, I move around, I move the view, I would almost never be able to get that back the way I wanted. But if I press F1, I snap right back and I have my view. This is also really useful if we pick another view here that gives us kind of a slight perspective view of the aircraft. Let's save that using Shift F2 and say we want to come in and just make the span bigger. And for fun, sure, let's change the diameter of the fuselage. Okay, so we've made kind of a silly looking aircraft, but here it is. Because maybe I want to compare one iteration of this vehicle to another using the same view, if I hadn't saved that, I wouldn't be able to precisely lay them on top of each other or do a good side-by-side -side view. But just by pressing F2, it snaps back to the way that it was. So you can jump back and forth to compare between iterations of designs, either for a presentation or a paper, by saving a view and then using that to reference each and every one. So that's really useful to be able to quickly communicate with people how the design has changed between iterations. Something else to note is that if you choose a center of rotation on a certain area of the aircraft and say this view, let's set it shift F1, is for the tail. Set a new one here, shift F2, that's the wingtip. If I wanna work on my tails, I press F1, wingtips F2. So you can quickly jump around in between different areas of your aircraft at different zooms and uh, positions so that you can very quickly jump around, design the aircraft, adjust, find features where you know you're going to be working, and then get back to work. 